As many of you may know, the Secretary of State of the United States has the ability to revoke or deny the passport of a U.S. person who has a seriously delinquent tax debt. Seriously delinquent tax debt is a tax debt over $50,000. Gets in, you know, adjusted for inflation each year. I think the number for 2021 is 54,000. And so the way this thing works is the commissioner of the IRS certifies to the Secretary of State that a taxpayer has a seriously delinquent tax debt. The Secretary of State then has the ability to act on that information and revoke or deny that person's passport. Now, a taxpayer named Robert Rowan challenged the constitutionality of this in tax court, arguing that it violates the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the Due Process Clause of the Fifth, Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. And that's kind of why I'm doing this video. A lot of people have, have expressed interest in, in the, the outcome of this case. And now that the case has been decided, I, I thought I'd do this video. So I think a lot of people were hoping that uh, the taxpayer would win and that it would be ruled unconstitutional. Unfortunately, that was not the case. The tax court ruled that the certification of the seriously delinquent tax debt is not a violation uh, of the Fifth Amendment and is therefore constitutional because the IRS isn't actually the one taking the passport, right? The IRS is not taking any action against the taxpayer. The IRS is merely certifying that a seriously delinquent tax debt exists and then they're certifying that to the Secretary of State and it's the Secretary of State that then takes the action. So I have to agree, although I don't like the outcome of the case, I, I, because I don't like you know, people's movements being restricted, especially for tax reasons. So while I don't like the outcome of the case, I do think, unfortunately, it was the right outcome because the judge is right. The IRS is not actually taking any action or restricting the movement or anything else of the taxpayer of this U.S. citizen, they're merely certifying that this person has a seriously delinquent tax debt and that it's the Secretary of State that would take action. So to me, there's sort of a, a, a two different areas that can be challenged here. One is the certification process, which now has been ruled constitutional. I think it'd be pretty unlikely if this guy appeals, I think it'd be pretty unlikely he'd win. But I think that there are possible challenges against the Secretary of State if the Secretary of State actually takes an adverse action against somebody based on the certification by the IRS. So I think the first part of the process, I agree with the court, it's constitutional, um, but we'll see what happens if anybody brings a challenge as to the constitutionality of the action to revoke or deny the passport by the Secretary of State, should that happen. In this case, the guy's passport hadn't been revoked or denied by the Secretary of State, so it doesn't seem that that was really considered, uh, but maybe it will be in a future case. And if it is, I'll let you guys know. Hopes, hopefully you guys find this informational. See you.